on everybody blazes here coming at you with another pvp video for shinobi collection all right this time we about to um do this pvp real quick and i'm gonna show you guys what team i got now if you've been in my discord you already seen my team probably uh, a couple of weeks ago when i posted it but this is the team right here now um if i had um the jiraiya which you know i probably should her we'll see how this game want to do me with rng <laughs> i'm fucking rng fuck you they're gonna um I, I probably will replace him with uh, either the this Sasuke or the godly Naruto. I don't know which one I'm going to replace him with, but I do know I want EX Destroy Naruto and Birthday. N no, not EX Destroy Naruto. Yeah, yeah, can't talk. EX Destroy Sasuke and Birthday Naruto on the same team. They work great together, so I want them on the same team guaranteed. I might honestly, if I ever did pull the right, I might honestly swap him for Naruto. Seeing as Naruto doesn't do anything but just revive for like five times and hit really hard. He gives the team a nice, great, a good buff, but eh, I'm not really going to use him as a leader in this. For the fact is, the blue Sasuke, I think, what is it, to boost attack and speed by 70%. So I think that's pretty good right there. I think that's, that's all right, especially since I'm kind of wanting more speed than anything else. Because uh, I'm I'm leaning towards more speed now because I want my character to have like extremely high speed. That way they have a chance to do more stuff and get attacks off faster. I need them to keep their speed up that way. They don't. The opponent doesn't have a chance to do anything. Like this team right here, we need to take out this Madara first. This EX Destroyer Madara for the fact is he can get make the whole team immune to skill damage. I think it's only AOE that it doesn't work against. I can't necessarily remember because I haven't used him in a while. But I need to take him out first because he'll be the bane of my existence. Now that he's out of the way, everybody else can pretty much do whatever they want. Sasuke should be able to just pretty much wreck everything by himself. His speed's over a thousand. Uh, attack's pretty good. He's gonna do additionals. They're all EX units and they're all leafless EX units. So, Sasuke, do you think? Do you think? Up, oh, Naruto wanted to interject real quick. You better finish him off if you come in the middle. Good, good, good. That my guy, I don't think, has a lot of health anyway. Can't remember necessarily, but yeah. Speaking of my guy, there's a new uh, Rock Lee coming out, so. Yeah, get hyped for that. He's going to be part one Rock Lee, too, when he fought uh, Garo during the tuning exams. Which, ironically, is the same stage we were just fighting at for PvP. But, yeah, he's going to be fighting there, and um, he's going to be a new unit. Now, with Rock Lee units and um, Guy units, they're typically more like nukers. Because I saw a little bit of his skills, and he does like 7% plus 100,000. So I think, if anything, he's just going to be a nuker. So don't get too hyped for him. He's just going to be sitting there constantly nuking. If we can get his speed up and everything to make sure he can nuke constantly, then I can see him being a very, 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 very good unit. But until then, I uh, will just hold my judgment. I'll withhold my judgment. There you go. That's the phrase I want to use. But uh, yeah, and um, like I said, they're typically more nukers. So um, I'm interested to see what he can fully do when it's um, fully translated in the database. Because at the recording of this video, I don't think it's in the database. And um, shout out to Obito fan on Twitter. His name used to be Zanosan, but um, they changed it around. So um, I'll probably um, do what I usually do when newer units come out that I'm actually you know interested in or excited for. Have them come out and um, do like kind of like you here's what his skills are. Here's what the gear is Here's what the uh, ultimate attack looks like and then I'll just credit Obito fan in the um, You know the uh, blah 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 Actually, I could just do a post with that. I don't need to make it a whole fucking video That might be what I do right there. Then I might just post it post the Rock Lee stuff and then just have the um you know, the, um, this PvP video come up either today or tomorrow. I don't know when I'll upload this. I know I'm going to upload it, though. I just don't know when. But that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably just post the Rock Lee stuff and then worry about, you know, whichever later. I don't think that requires a whole video. I might stop doing that because I don't think it requires, like, a whole minute-long video unless I'm going to uh, segue into something. Oh, God. Here we go with Kaguya. Jesus Christ. All right. Um, I need to take out this Kaguya. No way, I can't. She's immune for everything. Okay, so I need to take out everybody else around her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this Kushina first because she can get chakra like a mud. And I ain't got time for that. She's just 
She's too good of a support. And we need to take her out anyway because she can um, protect Naruto. So after that, we're going to go for Naruto. Fist bump Naruto is too much of a unit to deal with, especially since he can give a little chakra heal and do some nice damage. We need to go for Kakashi now. Close you up and boom. All right, on to Kaguya now. Now we can focus all of our attention on Kaguya because she she deserves it. Mostly because she's a pain in the ass, but mostly because she deserves it. Um, let's see, you get buffed. I'm going to buff you, Sasuke, so I need you to, there you go, baby. There you go. I kind of didn't even want to do that because of the, how much they heal, but I need this Kaguya to go to fuck down. Let me see something. Can I just single? Okay, yeah, she's died. Whatever gear they put on this Kaguya, they put it on her, so um, she couldn't get hit with um, attacks. Uh, it's either one of these gears. I feel like one of these gears do something for her dodge rate because she was dodging the hell out of those attacks. And I can't punch her. And she's still immune to everything because she needs she um stays immune to everything for like three turns. Shit, that's not gonna do anything, Sasuke. She's immune to everything for three turns for some fucking reason. And so I'm just gonna do this for right here. Just gonna take a while, so excuse me. Okay, oh my gosh. Bitch. Can't nobody got time to do shit, but you got time to attack. God damn they need to lower that shit. They should drop it in like in PvP. They can only do it like one one turn. They're immune to everything. Three turns is ridiculous, especially with these speed increases. You constantly doing something. They never have a chance to do anything because their fucking speed is too damn slow. And then they just sit here and live forever. Oh god! See, look at this shit, though. We gotta do this again too. Don't keep in mind. We gotta do this again. This is this isn't over. We have to do this again. Okay, there we go. Are you you still fucking immune? Okay. What about now? Okay, yeah, you're still immune. Yep, you're still fucking immune. Great. One more fucking time. Thank you, bitch. Now I can attack you. Jesus fucking Christ. I hate dealing with Kaguya. She's a pain in the ass. Jesus Christ. Look at this 76 turns. They really need to change those rules for PvP. There, I did it. It took me 77 turns just to one shot her. That's fucking crazy, man. They really need to fix that mechanic. It's very useful in PvE, but in PvP, it's annoying. It's, it's not needed. You don't need to. I'd rather her just revive like three times. That would be better than, you know, being immune to everything for three turns. Because everybody's too fast. They're going to be constantly moving. She's not going to have a chance to do anything. And before you know it, you're going to run out of time and you're going to automatically lose. And that's another thing I don't like about PvP, too. I wish they would change it. I don't know if they have with this recent update, but I wish they would change it to where if you run out of turns, whoever has the most characters on the field wins by default. That's why I think it should work. I really wish it would work like that because losing just because you're facing a Kaguya isn't fair. You didn't even lose to the Kaguya. You just lost because you had reached 100 turns. It really isn't fair. I'm getting tired of that. It, it frustrates me. It frustrates the hell out of me. Um... I mean, hell, you're all pretty much EXs. I'm gonna take out this Naruto first, but um, other than that, shit, mm -hmm. I shouldn't have too much trouble with this one right here. That godly Naruto, not godly Naruto, but that godly Sasuke, I should be fine against. He'll revive a couple of times, but this Sasuke can do additional attacks, so he can proc off some extra damage on him. So, and he's the main one doing any damage anyway. Naruto birthday Naruto comes up every now and again, like now. Don't think this is gonna be a one shot because I don't remember if he buffed himself. Yeah, it wasn't he didn't he wasn't buffed. So we should be fine though. This Sasuke is gonna do the job just fine for us. Yeah, he see he's doing the job just fine for us. We should be good. We should be good. I wasn't really worried either way, but still just in case. You never know what the kind of gear they got on them. Ooh. The Sasuke's buff. Let's see what he can do to this Sasuke. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. And since he did additionals, he kind of bypassed that fucking revive five times stuff. It's like you revive him, kill him again, cool. Don't have to worry about that then. That's a bet. So that's the PvP team I was running right there, and there's my run through of PvP. 
Now I got probably was it two more runs before I give me a ticket. That way I can uh, start saving up again to trade. Um, what rewards do they have? They're the same thing. All thing that matters is the um, point boosters and the um, little point booster jars and the stones. The stones is like you get what is this? Starting from the wards I have right now, as what is it? Seventy thousand, I get five stones. A hundred thousand, I get five stones. Hundred. 50,000 I get 5 stones, 200,000 I get 15 stones. So that's pretty much the translation right there. Everything else is either like Rock League training material or just some point, those little jar points that um, boost your points. Um, you can kind of tell that they're stones because of the um, the symbols and kanji or whatever it's called they used. Because look at 150,000 times 5, you can kind of see like those lettering right there, that means stones. So I'm just letting you guys know that so you can translate it kind of for look translated yourself or you know in the future, if you see it up on again, you know what it looks like. But that's going to be it for this video right here. I think I done went on long enough. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. All that bullshit. This be your boy Blazehood. Peace out.